All right, so here we have the uh, Blast V sensor um, model DC 10,000W. Uh, this is the current sensor where you put the wire through, and this is where you have the serial port. Right now, we're just going to do a quick test to see if it's communicating with the computer. So we're going to uh, add. There's the DC power operating voltage right here. That's the serial port. Okay. All right. Now that we have the watts view hooked up, we're going to go ahead and see the data coming in. It's going to go to programs, accessories, look for communications here, down here, and we have hyper terminal. So here we're just going to say watts view. And right now this will tell you what computer uh, serial ports are available on your computer. Right now there's just one uh, COM1, so we're going to go ahead and pick that. And now I can set the baud rate to 9600. Leave data bits the same, parity the same, stop bits the same, and flow control the same. These are all defaults right here. And hit OK. So right now there's data coming in to Watts View. And um, there's no voltage hooked up, no current, and no. Uh, power measurements are coming in because we just hooked up the power and the serial port to make sure the data was working. Okay, now that we see data is coming in, we can go ahead and, uh, if you wanted to capture this data, just record it right to your hard drive. You could easily just say um, capture text and just choose a, a path that you want to use. Uh, there we go. So right now we're saving data to the hard drive. Anything that's captured here will be saved to the, your your file, and uh, it's easy just to you could stop stop the data coming in. Okay, so here's the file we just captured. We're going to go just take a look at it with Notepad. It's uh, it has a .txt extension on it. it means it's a text file, and there's the data. So. You can scroll through it, and uh, right now it's all zeros. But if you're hooked up to a solar panel or a wind turbine, uh, you'll see all sorts of variations here of the voltage and the current. This right here is current. This is your voltage reading, and here you get your watts.